If you're in the process right now of choosing a cold email marketing tool, then stick around and watch this video because I'm going to be going over the seven most widely used tools out there and reviewing them on things like price, usability, things I love, things I hate. And stick around to the end because I'm going to show you the one I love the most and the reasons why. So woodpecker.co. Um, I really love this this one because it just does one thing really, really well. It's not trying to do the omni-channel thing like Lemlist or Dynamic Pages and all the other stuff. It just does the cold email really well. It's super intuitive. It's true. It is very intuitive. It's super simple to use. The the um, It has like uh, snippets, which is really easy to do, like the first liners and everything you need to do to create automation with personalization it can do this really easily. It's quick and qu you can just understand everything really great. So you can sign up to a free trial. You can click on the link below, which is an affiliate link, but then you can get the free trial and just you can start using the free trial for a period of time. Um, I really recommend it. The price is pretty standard. It's the same as with Lemlist, um, which is 59 per slot, which is great. And it's Per slot means per email. And it's really great because it just has unlimited everything. Just one price and you can just do everything. There's not like, it doesn't increase. Um, it's a bit less if you pay, annu pay annually. Lemlist is really great, but it's buggy. Um, so the things I really love about Lemlist are the um, couple features they have, which if we go to the pricing page and we can talk about pricing at the same time, is in the sales engagement. So it's much more expensive. If you're if you're looking just for pure email, cold email platform in its purity, which sometimes is the best thing you can do and all you need, I wouldn't use Lemlist. I would probably use another one, which I'll go into in a minute. But if you're trying to use Lemlist, I have another video coming out purely talking about Lemlist and these two features. But if you're looking for dynamic pages, so you, Lemlist creates these dynamic uh, elements within the email so you can have like embedded pictures which change depending on the url say it will take a screenshot of the person's home page with your picture in the front so it looks like you've you know got some personalized elements but it's actually all automated so lemnis has been working with personal automating personalization and they have this part of the sales engagement plan which is great and it also can link to dynamic pages with a video embedded and a calendar embedded and all that kind of stuff check out the video on lemnis specifically because that is actually could save you a lot of time and you know it's well worth that the price i would say if you're looking for these extra features if you're just doing cold email outreach don't i wouldn't use it Secondly is the omni-channel feature it has, which is really cool. So it now links up, uh, as part of the beta program, it now links up LinkedIn and um, cold email together so you can create sequences. So for example, you can create like, for example, li visit a LinkedIn profile view mixed with a, then a connection request, then an email goes out at the same time with the connection request. Then if they don't answer another LinkedIn profile view and a connection request, w reason why that works is when you get, when you do a LinkedIn profile view, it sends the pers a prospect a notification, sometimes via email and also within, you know, tells them that the person viewed your profile. So it creates this more human feeling to it, although it's automated. So that feature is great. Another thing that I would, I really, really love about Lemlist is this email warm up thing. It costs twenty nine dollars, so you can use it in conjunction with another um, uh, platform or pro uh, software. But this is really great. So basically, email this email warm up feature sends emails from your domain to other users within Lemlist, and then they reply, but they also prioritize the email and then reply really lengthy replies. And this is going round. Uh, you know, you increase this from like five in one day, 10 the next day, and it increases over time until you're doing like a hundred in one day. And that warms up your domain over the next three weeks. So then when you do actually start sending real emails to real people, you build this trust of your domain. You have this domain trust. So this, no, none of the other ones really have this. This is really a great feature of Lemlist. So use Lemlist for the email warm up. really great. Or if you want to pay the $99 and use the dynamic pages, check out the video on how I would do this or the um, Omni channel, which is also quite interesting. If you're just using email outreach, the downside of this, I find Lemlist a bit buggy. They're growing really quickly and they're changing the buttons from places. The UI can be really confusing at times. They're trying to do a lot of different things. It has a lot of emojis going on everywhere. I don't love that personally. So if you're just using email outreach, I would use another platform, um, but that's Lemlist.
Snovio is trying to do quite a few different things. So um, I really love Snovio for certain features and I don't actually love it for purely the cold email automation sequences and the drip. I don't really um, think it's the best out there, but it could be useful if you want all of those features in one. And one great thing is the price. I mean, it's cheaper um, by nearly half for 1,000 credits. So for 33 a month, um, you can do domain searches. So it's really great. You can get the email. I've got a whole video on how to get emails from LinkedIn connections. I'll link to that below. But basically, it's really, I love Snovio for the getting bulk email addresses from LinkedIn second and third connections. And I'll show you how to do that in the other video. But basically that's a feature that's really great. And another feature that they have is like checking the tech stack, kind of like builtwith.com. Um, it kind of does the same as this, which is, you know, the gold standard. This is the, everyone goes to built with to check, okay, what are they a Shopify? Are they using um, LinkedIn advertising already or not? You can check that with built with, but with Snovio, they also have this feature, um, which is kind of interesting. Um, I haven't really used it that much, but it's really cool. They're trying to do all these different things. I kind of feel that they're trying to do too much at the same time um, because the actual drip itself, the actual, you know, the reason why you, the conversation we're having today, which is about cold email outbound sequences, it doesn't do that that well. Um, woodpecker.co, if you're just doing cold email, does that a lot better or lemnist if you are doing all that other parts. But the way, I, the reason why I would actually use Snovio, if you're not that bothered by the UI and the, you know, sh the way it looks and, you know, the usability, then, and you're more concerned about two, the two things, which is the price, which, you know, that's a big deal. So if from a purely price point of view, just use it. It's actually a really, it does, it does what every other tool does or needs to do. It has all the automation, um, sequences and replies and all that kind of stuff. So it does, it has everything you need in it. So just use it if pr you're really price conscious. And the other thing why I might actually want to use it more often is because it's just one platform that does kind of the whole flow so at the moment you need to go i would normally use snovio to go and get all the email addresses from a linkedin search and i would use snovio get all the email addresses export that and then upload that to say woodpecker.co or lemlist or whatever other platform that i prefer and then use it there but with snovio you have the whole flow just working within it you can get all the email you can literally do a search use the um, snovio chrome extension get the emails and it's straight away in Snov, yo, and then you can do the e um, automated email outbound drips that you can you can do. And you can also do the tech stack. So Snovio is trying to do a lot of things, but if you're looking for a really clean, clear and easy flow, Snovio is actually a really good choice. I would use it, especially with the price point. So hunter.io is an interesting one. Um, I haven't actually used it as much as the other ones, but I had a little uh, play around with it. But it basically Hunter is great again, kind of like Snovio in terms of that it can do get the email addresses and all that kind of stuff. Although Snovio is better than Hunter, I'm finding these days at all the other bits. And it also does the tech, it can check the tech stack of um, pages. But again, I just don't think Hunter's really nailing it. I think Snovio is doing a lot of the other things. Hunter's more well known. Um, and got better branding and stuff like that. But actually, Snovio is doing a better job at getting the email addresses, say, from LinkedIn, second and third connections, and just email finding generally. And um, the actual uh, email outreach stuff on Hunter is pretty basic, um, but it does everything you need it to do, basically, from what I can see. And the price is pretty standard. Again, it does, um, although the prices includes say this is about the same price as say woodpecker.co, but it includes also finding some email addresses. So it's a bit cheaper probably if you do the maths and it can build it into one flow. So it's simpler to use than trying to use two tools. Um, although I prefer to use two tools. I'd rather use say woodpecker.co or lemlist and get the email addresses from Snovio. But if you're looking just for simplicity, then hunts.o could be a good choice. I haven't used it as much as I would like. So I really like using Mailshake. It's basically on par with Lemlist because it does the sales, uh, social selling side, i.e. using LinkedIn as well. Um, so Lemlist and Mailshake are on the same level. And it's like the pricing is pretty much exactly the same as well. 
um, well, it is exactly the same, actually. Everyone seems to be copying each other in terms of pricing and what they do. There's, this is what basically the conclusion of this is, that is that a lot of them, they all pretty much do very similar things. Um, and if you're using for, if you're looking for the sales engagement side, i.e. the social selling, um, then you should, you need to be choosing between Mailshake and Lemlist. But we're talking about $99 here a month. Um, and it doesn't do the dynamic um, pages like Lemlist, but does the social selling side. Also, the if you're looking just for the cold email, I still prefer uh, woodpecker.co, but to be completely honest, Mailshake does exactly what you needed to do. Things like the advanced scheduling and throttling. So this just means, you know, it makes sure it doesn't send too many emails at the same time to, so you don't get um, um, put in as spam or just like completely shut down. Um, and it has all the integrations you expect. It has basically, you know, you can put the Gmail, Outlook, any, any account you want. And it has all the email personalization, like the snippets, like Woodpecker has. I still prefer woodpecker.co in terms of just pure cold email. Um, but maybe I'm biased because I've just used it a lot more. So I would say Mailshake is a great option. You can't go wrong with Mailshake. And you can also, also with Mailshake, it's quite cool because you can then just upgrade to the sales engagement if you want to start using the other features. It doesn't have the dynamic pages like Lemlist. So if you're looking for that, then definitely go for Lemlist. But generally speaking, you can't go wrong with Mailshake. Um, and the customer support was really um, great. And they have uh, all sorts of educational resources, which you can just use anyway. Uh, if you want to learn more about cold email, they have a cold email masterclass and academy and all this kind of stuff so you can check that out so yeah mailshake has been a generally a really good experience gmas is a kind of different beast altogether it works directly in your gmail it only works for gmail so that's one of the kind of things about gmas but actually it's really great because it's so cheap it's the cheapest one on the market um, if you go to the pricing section it's actually much 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 cheaper than any of the other ones and it's actually got a niche in the market purely because of the price point, but also because it doesn't work like on a platform, like all the other ones you work within um, their own platforms. And GMAS just works within your Gmail itself, which is really interesting. And it's kind of quite bulky to use at times, I find. But actually for the price point, it's really great. If you're looking for the cheapest one, then GMAS is, does pretty much everything you need to do. Um, it's 20, you need to pay 20, 19.95 a month um, because you need the sequences and follow-ups. Um, you don't, you don't, you know, there's no point not having that. So it's 20 pounds, it's pretty much half, or sorry, $20, pretty much half the amount of the other ones. And it's quite interesting. It is interesting to work directly from the inbox and it's a bit of a different kind of flow. The U UI is a bit funny and the, you know, it's quite bulky to use, but generally speaking, if you're looking for a cheap, outbound tool gmas does everything you need it to do um i don't use it just because i use cold email a lot and i need to do it for clients i need to you know I, even if i do it just for myself um cold email and outbound is so important for me to get loads of clients so i'm willing to pay a little bit extra for a tool that just does a few other bits and bobs but also it's just easy to use and um saves me time so gmas is not the best but it's definitely the cheapest and it does everything you need it to do. And it's really interesting. Some people prefer GMAS in terms, some people prefer working from exact direct from their, G, from their inbox um, from Gmail rather than working on another platform. So if that's you, definitely check it out. So reply.io is a bit of a beast. It's more for enterprise teams than for say, if you're an entrepreneur or a freelancer or something like that. And the price points higher as well. Um, if you go to the pricing, it's not that much more con considering what it can do because it can do a lot. But say if you're doing a thousand people per month, which is not that many, you probably need to sign up to this one really because you need to be sending like maybe 2000 a month ideally. Um, then it's like $90 rather than $59 for the other platform, say Mailshake or Lemless, which does kind of is closer to what this can do. I mean, this can just do so much more though. So if you do run a sales team, it probably is worth, um, you know, paying to get this, which is, well, the business plan is $50 per user, up $7 per user. Um, it has the agency plan, which is quite interesting. But it basically does 
a lot of things. It does. You, you can find people's email addresses on this. You can, um, for example, if you go to the engage, so it does not only omni channel in terms of LinkedIn and um, email like Lemlist and Mailshake, it can also do use other SMS, WhatsApp, LinkedIn, um, and email. So for example, you can do omni channel or you can do multi uh, sequences, which are, yeah, like a connection request or connection um, prospect, view them on, on LinkedIn, connection request, then send them a WhatsApp message or an email and then a WhatsApp message and all that kind of stuff. So you can do extra sequences like that. You can also send reminders to phone them. Um, so that's really useful because with the sales team, a lot of times, especially when you're doing say LinkedIn advertising, which is what I do, when you get a lead in, you need to be super aggressive with the outbound after that, with the follow up. And I always recommend people to phone. And with this kind of sequencing, it's quite cool. You can really get your sales team, you can create sequences which your sales team can just follow really clearly. For example, step, you know, day one connection request plus email, day two, another email then a LinkedIn message, then a phone call. You can create these sequences and you can A, B test all these different sequences until you find one that really, really works. Then you create that sequence and you make sure each of your sales uh, team or sales dev, dev reps are following that sequence. And it just really clean and clear structures for them to follow. So if you have a sales team or if it's more enterprise level um, kind of thing you're doing, or if you're just looking for, uh, you know, a tool that really does a lot more than any of the other platforms. I'd say this is really, really great, but it's not that affordable. So it's not the best tool in terms of price, but it does everything you need it to do pretty much. And it does it really well. The UI is great. Everything kind of works. Um, so yeah, it does. It's a really, really, really great tool, but it's expensive. So it's not really necessary to do all this. It just does everything well, but it does too much, I'd say. And I would rather pay, uh, use them, say, Lemlist or Mailshake uh, to do what I needed to do, which does really well, or even just going down back to the basics and just sticking with cold email. Because if you do cold email well, it just works really, really well. So just, you know, you could just, you don't need to be doing all this, in my opinion. But if it's something that you want to try out and do, then it really depends on if you have a sales team, if you're more enterprise level, or if you, otherwise you can just use Mailshake. So I would say the winner out of all of these and the one that I'm going to continue using is woodpecker.co. I'm a little bit biased because I've been using it a lot and I really, really love it, but it just does cold email outbound really cleanly, really intuitively, really, really well. And if that's, you know what, you don't, like the other platforms have all these different features and do loads of different things. But to be honest with you, if you're just looking for the best cold email tool and it just does that one thing really, really well, then woodpecker.co is the winner. If you're looking for um, dynamic pages and omni-channel, then go to Lemlist. Lemlist does it really well or Mailshake also does it really well. If you're looking for enterprise, go to reply.io. And but if you're using and if you're looking for really simple flow, um, use Snovio because you can do get the emails and everything, all of the different steps. Instead of using two tools, you can just use one, which is Snovio. So that's a really good. Um, I would actually potentially use Snovio over Woodpecker just because it's quick and easier. I can get a search on LinkedIn, um, get the email addresses, have them in the email drip and it just all works under one platform really quick and easily. So Snovio is great for flow over Hunter, I'd say. And finally GMAS, if you're price conscious um, or you know what, try GMAS because even if you're not price conscious, some people prefer it. I don't, but some people prefer it. So definitely GMAS if you're price conscious or you prefer to work directly in your browser. So I hope this was really useful. Hope you got a lot out of this. Make sure you subscribe. And I've got some other video tutorials around cold email and reviews around Snovio, how to get email addresses from LinkedIn, all in the description below.